there are many alternatives for God's products. So in this part two, we are be considering some of the ideas to keep growing your business. You have to be thinking in the ecosystem of the business and the value captured by the farmer. If you have the sale price of the meat and the cost and also the price to be selling to the consumer, you have some add value captured by the providers of goods and services, some of the value captured by you and some of the value captured by customers. There are external factors to be considered very important now, like in the pandemic time, and internal factors. If you are thinking in these internal factors versus the external factors, you will find a strategy to be thinking how to get a better business, getting some of that capture from the cost, or offering a better product and getting a better price from the consumer. This is according to the product and the added value that you may be giving to the meat, to the milk, to the fiber, or even if you are talking about with control or prescribed grazing or from other uses like a gut yoga. Depending of this production system is the breed that you will be using. Many of them will be producing meat and meal and fiber, but some of them are very specific for meat and for each one of these products. So now we're be talking about the meat breeds. And for example, the Spanish goats, they came with the Spanish explorers centuries ago. They are from Iberian origin. The body shape, horns, hair, and color are not consistent among them. They are high resistance to poor management. The Kiko goats, they are coming from New Zealand, imported to states in the early 90s. Good to cross to Spanish goats, characterized to good parasite resistance. The boar goats from Dutch farmers at South Africa. They started in the United States in the early 90s. Boar goats characterized for high fertility and fast growth rate. Myotonic goats are known origin around 8070 and history starts as Tennessee. Myotonic goats are docile, adaptable, self-sufficient, pasture animals and parasite resistant tend to be year-round breeders. Savannah goats from South Africa, first of them 1957, imported to states in the late 90s, well Moscow goat with white color, very adaptable and extensive racing, not seasonal breeder with body characteristic as bored goats. The Textmaster goats more than 20 years ago appear and this breed is a crossing between the myotonic and the bored goats. Textmaster brings good characteristics of both breeds with faster growth and parasite resistance. If you are looking some of these breeds you may go to internet and look for different places where you may find and compare prices. Uh, we have some of them here in Missouri uh, and you may be looking for each one of them if you are interested. So these uh, breeds uh, are for meat and we are going to be talking about some numbers. now. You have to consider that the pregnancy is around 150 days. Uh, the numbers of kids is uh, around one to two, and you will need one buck for uh, 20 to 30 dogs 
They will be kidding in average one once a year and they will be seasonally. So they will be having some months where they will be kidding and orders that not is possible. So you have to consider that to be uh, analyzing your markets too. The stocking rate, that is the number of gobs per acre, so it will depend very much about the quality of the pasture. In poor pasture, you will have from two to four goats. In good pasture, from six to eight goats. You have to consider some pasture hay during the winter, salt mineral, the veterinary service, and some holding and hair number registration. So the numbers to start a commercial meat goat hair for one year you have to consider it to buy some animals. So for the females, you have to pay between $250 to $450, depending on the breed and the size of the animal. And also for the bug, between $250 to $700. If you are considering uh, uh, $18 with one or two bugs, so, and a facility like a winter goat shelter, you will need around $10,000. That is assuming that the farmer has a 10 to 15 acres of good pasture mix, grass, tree fall, and shrubs, and is not considered pasture maintenance cost in this analysis. So the cost for each one of the animals, you need some hay, minerals, some grain during the year, the parasite treatment, this is testing, and you will have around $96 per dough per, per year as a cost. And the box also, you have a cost. But you have other costs at the farm, like the medicines, veterinary, some supplies, registration, fencing, and some labor during certain weeks of the year and some incidental expenses so you will have almost two thousand dollars per year uh, as a summary we have to see that cost of 96 dollars and also other cost of the herd and the cost of your box uh, divide by the number of those that we are considering 18 so you will have a total dough cost per year of $205 or $17 uh, per month. The growth revenue we have considering 90% of fertility, so that means that 10% of the dough will not be given a year. We are going considering 1.8 kids for each kidding period and you will have in 29 kids per year, a mortality of 4%, so you will be losing one animal. The weather's and dollings to sales 28, the price of sales 2.6 uh, dollars per pound, a 60 pounds per head, so you will have a gross revenue of $4,321. Uh, per dough $240 and the net revenue that is really what we are looking 34 uh, per dough and for hair $627 that is no much so if we calculate for a low input meat gut production system the even break so that means the minimal number that you need to have a, a to pay all your costs, you need instead of 18 goats, 25 to 30 uh, goats for, for your herd. Here we have uh, some uh, meat herd structure simulation for six years. And if you start even with uh, five nannies and we, with uh, one buck through the year, you will be growing your herd size until year six, where you will have in the 18, and you will have some animals to sell. If these dollings, instead of selling, 
you go to the year seven, you will have the animals to be uh, enough for the evening break. And uh, so in this simulation, starting with five and selling all the animals just until 18, you will sell in 29 animals by the sixth year. So this is a very interesting way to be uh, just looking at strategies, even for meat production, uh, or if you want to give some add value and you be looking for your numbers and be looking for being a very good profit. So if you need any information, please contact us and we are very uh, pleasure to be working with you. Thank you. We we'll see you the next time.